Starkey, the Eagles made their annual appearance at Rockvale with all their fans on Saturday, and this is something that you and I have both kind of covered in the yeah. past. This year, I did not. You did. And uh, you're wearing the Eagles garb, which I, I don't know what to conclude from that, but tell us what you were able to conclude from your sojourn with the Eagles and their lunatic fans. <laughs> well, you said it best there with you. Now, we'll leave out the lunatic part. I probably got this shirt six years ago out at the Red Zone store. Ah. Place was crazy down there, Mike. Probably the second biggest crowd other than the first year when Terrell Owens was the marquee name. This year, the big name was Kevin Cobb. I, I've got to conclude Kevin Cobb mania. Is that what we're seeing? You know what? I think so. You know, one of our favorites when we did our, our low post segment there, who's one of our favorite guys we interviewed ever? Tattoo dude. Yeah. Tat man. Tat man. Who has more tats than teeth? Teeth. It's a good look for anybody. It's a good look. No, no, it's not. Uh, he was there. I didn't recognize him at first. You know why? Because he had clothing on. He had clothing ah. on. He had a shirt on. We're doing well here. He was there in the media room, and I was like, "Well, what, what are you doing here, Tat man? We're talking." And again, I mentioned, "Why is your shirt on?" He actually took it off to show me where he has the Kevin Cobb tattoo now from his rookie card. He was there, had a special badge on, event, you know, event staff. I thought. Oh. Uh, he was there f to get Cobb, and Cobb did it, signed on his chest, and, you know, so that he can get it tattooed, his autograph, into his upper shoulder. Okay. Kevin Cobb, one of his first appearances as the Eagles' new starting quarterback. Right. You had Leonard Weaver, a very class act guy. First time they had a fullback in a while. I mean, yep. you no know, more Dan Klecko was playing fullback. They got a guy who actually can play. And Jason Avant, who wears 81, his name is T.O. And there was, they had a couple of pictures for Avant to sign there, and it looked like they had T.O. pictures there. It was sort of funny. Avant and Leonard are well-spoken guys, and they're this blue-collar type that do all the dirty work, will play special teams, and they're what every good, successful team needs sure. to be good and successful. Sure, I'll buy that. Um, three offensive guys, and one of the things that really struck me was just how young this Eagles team is now. They have one guy, non-kicker, that is over the age of 29 years well, I old. I think they're the youngest team in the NFL. Quickly they became this, yeah. I mean, Cobb is 25, he'll turn 26 in August. This is a young group. They've got a bunch of young receivers. One thing Avon said to me was, it's going to take a while to become that safety valve as a slot receiver for Cobb, where they can read each other. Him and McNabb had that down, where McNabb knew he could come to him as a, com as a comfort and... and that's any time you change quarterback and receivers. I mean, that's, not, that's no reflection on Cobb or on Avant or anybody else. It's just, that, that's just sort of a natural thing. It is, but it's wondering how long it will take them to get that down. Will it happen in Lehigh, or will it take longer to get something that McNabb and Avant have gotten over several years well, together? I, I think they're probably going to be more of a short passing, more of a traditional, what we think of as West Coast offense True. team, and that may make that a little bit easier to do. There's a lot of timing involved, but it's also shorter passes and, 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 and more high percentage routes. So, so I think in that sense, um, Cobb was going to get a little bit of a of a uh, smooth transition into the role, but obviously we'll see. I think you hit a traditional West Coast offense. I also think he's a more accurate quarterback than McNabb oh, has shown. I don't shown. think there's any question about that. Yeah, yeah he's, he's the only quarterback in NFL well, history. Well, we shouldn't say there's no question. How much of this guy have we seen? Well, it's we a great... No, I, but I, I think that's the case. Yeah. From what the, the, the small microcosm we've got to see of this guy, we got to start two games. The only quarterback in NFL history to, to start two games and throw more than 100, 300 yards in those games. Games. What we saw is impressive how, how he can lead receivers. McNabb was throwing behind him. They also brought in some, some good running backs. I, love, I was impressed. Leonard Weaver had 70 carries last year, did very well as a fullback running the ball. But they bring in Mike Bell. They draft guy Charles out of LSU. I mean, they've got some guys that can run the ball. And even Leonard Weaver said, I might not get as many carries as I had last year because of the guys we brought in. They may actually, and, and Cobb says they have to find that healthy balance, actually run the ball and pass the ball, you know. We'll I'm see on that. Starkey, if I may summarize in my rare moderator role in this segment, yeah. uh, that your shirt selection reflects your enthusiasm. It is, and I've also been hired in the public relations department. Can you Too tell? Too much info. Too much info. 